Hello everyone, I'm back on my channel with a new video for you all and it's been, it's a pretty exciting one. So after university today, I decided to go to one of my favorite shops, which is Lidl. And so here today we've got a Lidl haul. I'm gonna start off with some stuff I've got in to make some soups because it's coming into sort of the autumnal wintry months. And we need to get into sort of like the more festive spirit. Um, and soups are a really good way to energize yourself in the day and have it for lunch and all. So here I've got a butternut squash. Um, I'm gonna roast it, I plan on, and it's gonna be a nice butternut squash roasted soup with some sweet potatoes. I decided to get two um, because I'm also gonna be making a second soup, which is gonna be, oh, this is what's quite annoying with supermarkets. They put the plastic on the cauliflower, i.e. or any other vegetables, which kills the fish and kills the planet, um, which we need to get better at. That'll be a next video to come. We'll be discussing the implications of plastic. To be confirmed. Anyway, so here's the cauliflower. Um, it's going to be more of a sort of like a um, cream cauliflower soup. It's undecided. I didn't get any cream, so <laughs> who knows how that's going to turn out. Uh, I also got two small potatoes because potatoes add a bit of flavour to the soup um, with some <laughs> onion and garlic as well, which I've already bought, so I didn't buy it anyway for the haul, but just to let you know. I also got two larger potatoes because they're good to make some sort of food during the week, you know. Let's move this sort of out, out of the way. Um, I also got some rockets to go with some salads to have... Oh, that's not quite, quite prompt there. There we go. Um, to go with some salads. Um, it's, the rockets are pretty good for you. Stay healthy during the wintry months. Also for lunch, I got um, reduced fat hummus. It's one of Lidl's staple items. It's very nice. It also is always in a squish container, but that shows that it's freshly produced, in my opinion. Um, to get into more of like the Greek spirit um, and Mediterranean, we've got some black olives and sun-dried tomatoes. They go very well in like breakfast if you want to make sort of scrambled eggs and sort of salads. I highly recommend. Um, I also try to be gluten-free, so we've got a small loaf of gluten-free bread, which I more bought because it was 30% off in the reduced section. Um, this stuff's pretty expensive, so I usually freeze it and you can pick out when you want to um, eat. Um, you can't start your day without Weetabits. It's, it's sort of an essential to anyone's morning. Um, I beg to differ if you have anything else other than Weetabix. Um, because it's, as you can see, it's higher in fiber, low in sugar and salt, and 100% whole grain wheat. Can't go wrong. Okay, now we're getting to the, ex oh, we've got this as well, just a jar of pasta sauce in case I'm lazy and I don't want to make actual pasta sauce after uni. But here's the exciting part because, oh, and, <laughs> dairy-free butter because spread it onto the toast okay now this is the exciting part so it's our friend Britt's birthday tomorrow so we're going to be making her a nice cake I'm planning on it being sort of like a maybe a lemony strawberry potentially blueberries if I have enough blueberries in the freezer cake with pink icing and the letter B in the barbie font so starting off I bought a large selection of eggs as you can see here 15 large eggs um None of them have cracked, and they're all from Good Chickens. Lemon juice, to give it the lemony, lemony tang. Ice and sugar, because, you know, you can't have a cake without icing. It doesn't seem very legal. Self-raising flour, so the cake actually rises. What's this? The caster sugar, to sweeten stuff up. And I got sort of like fake stalk, which it says it's perfect for cake, so we'll go with it. And last but not least, the fresh strawberries. These are kind of like the luxury of the haul today. Strawberries are kind of more on the pricey side. They're called El Santa from the Netherlands. Um, we'll give a little taste, just to, you know, on camera, just to make sure they're legit. Mm. They're nice and sweet. Soft and chewy. Not chewy, they're kind of like more dissolve in your mouth. Um, but I think they'd be really nice as like a decoration on the cake. Um, so yeah, I might do like a video whilst making a cake, um, we'll see because I'm quite short on time and I also need to make two soups, my dinner and lunch for tomorrow, as well as this cake and it's already like 7 or 8 o'clock, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, like, comment and subscribe if you want more, I can't wait to see you on my next little haul, adios, oh, hi guys, um, follow at Joe Manionar. So follow at Barn of B. At Barn of Behind B. the scenes is our lighter Sophie Scarlet. 
And here is our fake vegan Lucy pointer. I'm not a fake vegan. See you later, guys. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>